Hi, boys and girls. First, let me say that I am being a dork right now because I'm super excited that I can finally change the font on the text and the size of the text on this app. So, yeah, that's really cool. All right. So my shout out goes to the nine students um, that I appreciate for everything that they have done to be successful. I think they know who they are. Um, remember, I'll re keep that in mind. Keep working hard. Hopefully, we can do that again sometime because I had fun. All right, so real world meeting of slope and y intercept. We kind of talked about it in class. We're going to look at it a little bit more now. There is a real world meeting, there is a point to all of this, and we're going to look at that now. So, let's say we have a monthly cell phone, and the plan costs $30 plus an additional $0.05 cents per minute. These are very similar to the word problems we did when we were solving equations, okay? We have that number that's kind of by itself, and then we have the number that's the coefficient. The number that's by itself here is $30. That's our y-intercept. Because for zero minutes, we're going to still have to pay $30. That's the starting value. And then that five cents per minute, that's our slope. That's our rate of change. That's how we're changing. So after every minute, we add another five cents. Another minute, another five cents. Another minute, another five cents. So we start with $30, and then we increase by a rate of five cents every minute. All right, the ice cream in an ice cream cone is 8 inches tall. It is very hot outside, and the ice cream is melting at a rate of 25, sorry, 0 0.25 inches per minute. So we've got this 8 inches that we're starting with. That's our constant. And then we have this 25 inches per minute. That's our coefficient. That's how we're changing. It's our rate of change. So this 8 inches represents which part? That's our y-intercept. It's our starting value at the beginning, before the time starts. So when you first get that ice cream cone, it's 8 inches tall. So at a time of 0, we have 8 inches. And then that 0 0.25, well, that's our slope because that's our rate of change. That's how it's changing every minute. Is that going to be increasing or decreasing? What would slope dude say? Yeah, nice negative. It's going to be going down. We're melting, so we're going to be losing 20, 0 0.25 inches per minute. All right, Mrs. Twombly is getting ready to pack to go on vacation. I wish I really was. Her suitcase weighs 8 pounds, and then each item of clothing she packs weighs, on average, 0 0.5 pounds or half a pound. So we have this 8 pounds here. That's our constant. At the start... Before we put any clothing in, it weighs 8 pounds. So that y-intercept is 8 pounds. So for zero clothes, we have 8 pounds. Then that 0 0.5, that's really pounds per clothing, per item of clothing you're putting in. That's our slope. That's our rate of change. What we're going to see when we go into our next unit, we're going to have to start writing equations, is you want to identify the two variables. You want to determine which variable is independent. So which one keeps changing no matter what? I keep putting clothes into the suitcase, okay? And I, I really do do that. I overpack. I have a very bad problem overpacking. So I put too many clothes in my suitcase. The weight of the suitcase depends, so it's our dependent variable, on how many clothes are in the suitcase. Okay, X is always your independent, Y is your dependent. And we'll, we'll talk about that more with our next unit, but that's kind of where we get some of this information from. So then we can talk about telling a story, even from a graph. All of this can have a real-world meaning. We've got a little fishy here, kind of looks like Nemo. So let's talk about how we have a fish tank, okay, and unfortunately... Your little brother threw a ball at the fish tank, and there's a crack in it, and now the water in the fish tank is leaking out. Oh, no. So we have to identify what our two variables are. So this is going to be time. 
Okay, and let's say it's time in minutes. And then over here, this is the, say, inches of water in the tank. How much water is in the tank at the start? I have to find the y-intercept right here. Here's our y-intercept. So the tank had 175 inches of water before the leak. And then what is it leaking at a rate of? We have to find the slope and be careful here. So I'm going to go from here. I'm going to go over here. So we would say nice negative. Let's use orange so we can see this a little better. Nice negative. So it's going down. Negative slope. Here we go down how much? From 175 to 150 is 25. Then we go over one minute. So we're leaking. at a rate of 25 inches per minute. So our slope is 25 over 1. So 25 inches in 1 minute. Okay? All of this has a real world meaning. You're not always going to be making graphs and making tables of everything, but there is a lot of stuff in the real world that has a constant rate of change. That follows this, what we call, linear relationship. All right, now it's your turn. Marvin and his cousin Duffy, and Marvin really does have a cousin Duffy, are having a race. Since Duffy is a puppy, Marvin lets Duffy start two feet in front of the start line. Marvin is at the start line. Marvin can run at a speed of three feet per second, while Duffy can run at a speed of 2.5 feet per second. Identify the y-intercept and the slope for both Marvin and Duffy. Okay, I'm excited to meet your parents tomorrow and Wednesday. Have a good night.